The capacity of wire rope slings is affected by many factors. To ensure that the capacity of a wire rope sling is valid, the competent rigger must avoid several problems. Problems and the wire rope sling charts. Improper connections to the sling eye, either too small or too big. Beating down of the choke to an angle of less than 120 degrees. Placing a basket hitch over small diameter or not having the legs vertical. Multiple leg sling capacity not adjusted for the effects of the sling angle. Using a double choker or double basket at sling angles smaller than 60 degrees. The capacities of wire rope slings are based on using the proper size hardware with the wire rope slings. The hardware used should have a diameter bigger than the diameter of the wire rope sling. When comparing the diameter of the hardware to the diameter of the wire rope sling, this is called the D to D ratio. Having a D to D ratio greater than 1 is preferred when connecting rigging hardware, such as a shackle, to the eye of a wire rope sling that does not have a thimble in the eye. Never allow the diameter of the fitting to be less than the wire rope sling diameter under any circumstances. The use of a wire rope thimble will provide the best protection to the eye of the sling. In many cases, the use of a thimble is not feasible. Do not force eyes over hardware. Make sure that the width of the hook or the diameter of the fitting is no bigger than one half the length of the eye. The choker hitch is often used when gripping the load and will improve load control. The capacity of a choker hitch is based on the hitch being properly formed. In order for the full choker capacity to be available, the angle of choke for all type slings should be at least 120 degrees. Whenever a screw pin shackle is used with any sling or hitch, always make sure the pin is tight before each lift. If a choker is formed using a shackle, the pin of the shackle should always go through the eye of the sling. This is wrong. This is correct. The basket hitch of a wire rope sling has twice the capacity of a single leg sling if the legs are vertical and the sling is wrapped around a load that is at least 25 times bigger than the wire rope sling diameter. Thus, when standard wire rope slings are used in a true vertical basket hitch, the D to D ratio must be at least 25 to 1 in order to have double capacity as compared to the vertical leg sling of the same size and construction of wire rope. Per ASME B30.9, if the wire rope sling forms a basket hitch over a load or fitting smaller than 25 times the diameter of the wire rope, the sling's basket hitch capacity must be reduced. If a wire rope basket hitch is formed around an object that has the same diameter as the wire rope, the basket hitch capacity is no more than the single leg capacity. At a 30 degree horizontal angle, the capacity of a basket hitch is the same as single leg. Multiple leg slings of three and four legs always improve load control and stability. Their capacity, however, is not always greater than a two leg sling. Three leg slings will have a 50% increase in capacity as compared to a two leg assembly only if the center of gravity is properly placed between all three legs of the sling. A four-leg sling usually does not have a capacity greater than three legs. In some cases, the capacity may be based on two legs. Do you realize that tightly bending a wire rope sling can reduce its strength up to 50%? Think about that for a minute. The manufacturer's specs may show a braking capacity of 10,000 pounds. And with one mistake, like bending it too sharply, its capacity has been reduced to 5,000 pounds. That means you can take the same cable and the same object and lift it without problems one way, and the next time rig the cable the wrong way and snap it.